What's up, everybody? Welcome uh, back to uh, Duke Maine. Today, we are going to learn which one of these organisms is an animal, using the game that helped kids around the world learn how to use discrimination. All right, now let's get started. Oh, right. Uh, let me move out of the way. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things doesn't belong. Can you tell which thing is not like the other? Before I finish this song. They're all animals. Oh, oh my god damn. Oh my goodness. I pranked y'all so hard. Damn. I am a prank. Oh, hey guys. Welcome back. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, hold on. Alright, anyway, now that we got that weird little noise, whatever thing out of the way, let's talk about our topic for the day. Alright, I already know what some of y'all are thinking. <laughs> but Duke, I mean, I know what an animal is, son. There's no reason to tell me what an animal is, boy. But I'm going to be real with y'all. Some of y'all don't. You might be able to name some animals. Frog, cat dog triceratops but he, he, here's the million dollar question do you know what makes these guys animals do you do you uh, you probably don't for example take that animal i know you didn't think was an animal earlier trichoplax adherens now you want to know why you didn't think trichoplax adherens wasn't an animal because you have an idea what an animal should look like but there are plenty of animals that people don't think are animals Though, to be fair, there are people who already know what an actual animal is and what makes something an animal, and the only reason they're watching this video is so they can go, I don't know what makes something an animal, I'm really just waiting for this faggot to fuck up. Well, uh, joke's on you, buddy, because this shit is... <coughs> ah, so what makes this, 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 and Trichoplax adherence animals? Well, to be an animal, firstly, you must have a cell that lacks cell walls and be multicellular. Hold on, does anybody hear, uh, creaking? Whew. Alright, it's a good thing I stopped, technically, myself from continuing because there is much more to animal cells than just that. Like the fact that animal cell junctions are unique, as they are composed of things like desmosomes, hemidesmosomes, adherence junctions, and depending on whether it is a vertebrate or invertebrate, tight junctions or septate junctions. Quick note, an animal known as C. algaeans has its own special junction known as the apical junction. Good thing I caught that just in time, otherwise I would have forgot it. Cell junctions are what go in between the cell itself and the extracellular matrix. And in animals, the extracellular matrix must contain extracellular macromolecules, glycosaminoglycans, protoglycans, and the plasma membrane. Also, all animals contain a basement membrane. Well, besides some sponges. The structure of the connective tissues in animals should be comprised of collagen, elastin, fibonectin, and laminin. With, With these, these components, components combined, combined it, it forms the animal cell. cell! Though each animal cell is different, as you can see in this chart with some animal proteins. I must also add that all animals except placozoans and sponges have differentiated tissues. Not really too important to my message, but I thought it'd be an interesting thing to share. Alright, the next thing that makes something an animal hey, is... Oh. Animal cells work! Fucking piece of shit! Fuck you! You're not, you're not even my mascot! Fuck you! <sighs> now where was I? Oh yeah, that's right. Animals also must be heterotrophs, meaning that in order to gain nutrients, an organism has to suffer. <coughs> Not all the time, though. Not all the time. I I'm over-exaggerating. Ignore me, I'm a little shit. All animals, at some point in their lives, are motile. So, those are the things that make something an animal. 
I know there might be a bit more, especially in the cell area, but I don't want to make this video incredibly long because I'm that lazy. I know this is the part of the video where most people are like, subscribe! I mean, you can subscribe if you want, but I'd rather you much check the links down below. Research is important and I might have missed something, so be vigilant because I'm a fuckhead.